importance of food. We need food to survive, to stay fit and healthy. Food helps us in many ways. It helps us to grow. It gives us energy to do different activities. It protects us from diseases. It repairs the wear and tear of our tissues. It keeps us warm. Without food, we feel tired, weak and unhappy. What petrol is to a car, food is to our body. The food we eat also acts like a fuel for our body and gives us energy for various activities. Types of Nutrients Food consists of five main groups of nutrients. These nutrients are present in different food items in varying quantities. Nutrients Carbohydrates Vitamins Proteins Minerals Fats Carbohydrates They give heat and energy to our body. People doing more physical work need more carbohydrates in their diet. Sugar and starch are two types of carbohydrates. Examples of food containing starch are rice, wheat and potato. Examples of food containing sugar are grapes, sugarcane and banana. Vitamins Vitamins help in maintaining proper growth and good health. They are required in very small quantities by our bodies. They improve the body's ability to fight diseases. Fruits and vegetables are rich sources of vitamins. Proteins Proteins are known as building blocks of the body. They help us to grow. They repair our body after an injury or sickness. Eggs, milk, fish, beans, meat, etc. are rich sources of proteins. Minerals They are required in very small quantities. They keep us fit and healthy. Minerals like calcium are used for building bones and teeth. Iron helps blood to carry oxygen in our body. Milk, leafy vegetables and fruits provide minerals to our body. Fats Fats provide twice as much energy as carbohydrates. Extra fat is stored in the body for later use. Food items like butter, ghee, nuts and cheese contain high quantities of fat. Both carbohydrates and fats are known as energy-giving foods. If the intake of fats is more in our diet, the extra fat gets stored in the body which leads to a disease called obesity. Obesity increases the risk of heart diseases. Water It helps to maintain our body temperature. It helps in digestion, excretion and absorption of nutrients. Roughage or Fiber Fiber is that part of food which helps to keep a person healthy by moving food quickly through the body. Fiber is present in the skin of vegetables and fruits. It helps in the removal of wastes from our body. Balanced Diet A balanced diet is one which contains all the nutrients, water and roughage in the right proportion. A balanced diet makes a person fit and healthy. The diet of an individual depends on age, the amount of physical activities performed and environment. Perfect health We enjoy perfect health when all parts of our body perform their functions without any discomfort. We are free from any kind of disease. We have the right body weight. We have enough stamina and energy to perform our daily activities. Key to perfect health, exercise, games and yoga. Balanced diet, proper sleep and relaxation, cleanliness of ourselves and our surroundings. Importance of exercise. 
exercise keeps our body healthy walking jogging or playing sports are good exercise for the body yogic exercise like deep breathing pranayam etc improve the blood circulation memory eyesight and keep us healthy regular exercise cleans our body and helps to fight diseases clean habits we should bath twice a day to get rid of germs and dirt we should also brush our teeth twice a day and cut our nails regularly it is important to wash our hands before or after touching food after using the bathroom after sneezing or coughing after touching pets or animals after playing any physical game after visiting a sick relative or friend healthy diet start your day with a healthy and filling breakfast eat grains fruits and vegetables in proper quantities sleep well our body requires at least 6 to 8 hours of sleep to stay healthy unhealthy habits sedentary lifestyle improper food habits and junk food unclean body and surroundings inadequate sleep stress tension and anxiety your guide to healthy eating eating the right kind of food is not enough we should follow some rules while cooking and eating food not to overcook or deep fry food which can lead to the loss of vital nutrients wash fruits vegetables rice and pulses before cooking them do not wash vegetables after cutting as some of the water soluble nutrients get washed away always keep the food in clean and covered containers wash your hands before handling any food eat slowly take small bites and chew the food properly do not overeat eat a lot of green vegetables and fruits sprouting and fermenting enhance the nutritive value of foods healthy food combinations food combinations of pulses and grains provide proteins in rich amount for example dhokla idli dosa vegetables and and soya pulao food items which combine proteins carbohydrates vitamins and minerals are rich sources of energy and help in the growth of the body for example aloo parathas spinach parathas dal and spinach dosas protein calcium and vitamin e combinations keeps us healthy and fit for example milk and rice and milk and corn flakes changing food habits earlier the diet of the people included a lot of homemade nutritious food but nowadays the consumption of packaged food products has increased many fold many varieties of non alcoholic aerated drinks are quite popular among people restaurants and food joints serve a variety of mouth watering dishes potato chips popcorn pizza burgers and noodles are in constant competition with popular indian snacks like chole bhature samosa murmuri and churva food spoilage every food item needs to be stored properly to prevent its spoilage food gets spoiled due to germs present in the air that thrive on and contaminate unprotected food products food spoilage can be defined as an undesirable change in the normal state of food we can observe these changes by smell sight taste or touch spoiled food is unsafe for consumption it may cause diseases methods of food preservation drying some food items are sun dried to reduce moisture content in them which prevents the growth of germs this method is used to preserve wheat rice oats apples bananas 
papayas, fish, etc. Refrigeration Food is preserved at low temperatures to prevent bacteria and fungal growth. This is called refrigeration. Food like meat, poultry, fish, milk, etc. are stored at low temperatures to prevent spoilage. Pickling and Sweetening Vegetables and fruits are preserved in the form of pickles by adding salt, vinegar and vegetable oils. Fruits pulp, jams prepared from seasonal fruits and juices are preserved by sweetening. Canning and Bottling Cooked or semi-cooked food is preserved in sterilized, in sterilized and sealed containers or bottles. This process is called canning and bottling. Canning and bottling prevents the food inside from coming into contact with germs in the air which can contaminate it. The containers are then boiled to kill the remaining germs.